Hey everyone, this is Chris. This is a video guide on how to use the desktop version of the Darkla Suite. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can select any of the available impulse responses in our library, how to save or load your presets, and how to synchronize all of them to your personal cloud so you are able to use them both in the desktop version and the mobile version. Let's get to it. In this video, I'm using the Alpha Mega Photon as an example, but the same principles apply to the aggressively distorted advanced machine. As you launch the application after you have connected your pedal with a computer via USB, you are heading to the signal chain section. On the top left we have the noise gate, on the right we have the cap sim, underneath it is the filter categories. Uh, again on the left we have the cabinet selection, the mic selection, the addition to your favorites. For the photon and the atom we have the five available IR slots. So each bullet point represents a slot uh, which uh, each IR is loaded, so this one currently has uh, the default factory preloaded IRs. And then on the bottom we have the fetch IRs and uh, the add new impulse. Please note that in order to take advantage of all the functions and uh, as we're going to show how to synchronize your uh, custom impulses in your presets, please head to the top left corner of uh, the app where is the menu icon and kindly log in with your My Pedal account credentials. This is uh, the account that you use for the registration of your products. After you log in, you, you're going to have your name and your email. So now let's proceed to the CapSims. Uh, this uh, actually applies to every pedal that utilizes CapSims. So uh, let's take a look at it. I'm going to select one of the lower ones. Uh, for example, here we have a Darkla series uh, Elite 810. If we click on the cabinet selection, uh, you can see that we have all the available ones. And since we have selected all the categories uh, from uh, the filters, all of them show up. Uh, these ones are actually guitar uh, impulse responses. And from the Darkla Elite series 412 and below are all the bass impulses. Since we have also selected the artist filter, you can see that we have all the available custom impulses from our artists. So let's take an example. I'm going to select the Elite Series 810. So now that we have selected the Elite Series 810, we have to select the mic in order to load the impulse. If we click on the Select Mic options, we're going to see all the available microphones. Please note that some cabinets do not have more than one or two. So according to each cabinet, there might be a single impulse or there might be different ones. Let's select the Dynamic 421. As we click on this, uh, we get a message that uh, the impulse is actually loaded to slot 4. Underneath it, you're going to see that we have uh, different uh, icons for microphones. The highlighted one is the one that we have chosen. If you click again on uh, the selected microphone, we're going to see the available positions uh, towards the, the speaker itself. Currently, we are in the offset uh, cone position, so if uh, we actually click on the further one is going to be loaded to this specific slot. Underneath it we have the star icons. These are used in order to add a specific uh, placement to your favorites. So if we click on the star, we get a message that this was added to our favorites. So now if we select the favorites category from the filters, then it's going to show up. And on the bottom left, we have the fetch IRs and the cross buttons. If we click on the fetch IRs, we're going to see a message that uh, zero IRs are found. This is due to the fact that we haven't actually added any custom impulse and we haven't synchronized it with our cloud. So in order to get a custom impulse uh, loaded to the suite, we just have to click on the cross icon and we get this window. So in order to get a custom impulse, you either click here in order to get an explorer window to add the custom impulse of your liking, or you can just drag and drop one of them uh, into this area. So I'm going to grab one and drop it here. I have named it test cup one. Uh, and let's add another one as well. Drag and drop the wave file two. And you have three available icons on each one of them. Uh, one is Edit, where you can uh, change the name and you can add a description for your ease of use. Then we have uh, the Cloud Synchronization uh, uh, icon and the Delete icon. So if I want to just delete one, I just click on the trash can and it's deleted. 
If you want to add it again, just drag and drop to the bottom location and here we are. Now, in order to synchronize your custom impulses with your cloud, you have to be logged in. That's why I mentioned in the beginning that you have to sign in with your My Pedal credentials in order to take advantage of your personal cloud storage. So in order to synchronize, all you have to do is that uh, you have to click on the cloud icon. Currently, as you can see, it has an X mark, which means that this specific IR is not synchronized. So if you click on it, it's gonna turn into a tick and you have a message that it was successfully uploaded to your cloud. We're gonna do this for both of them. And here now we have both cabinets ready. You can actually load each one of them by the list itself if you click on each one. Else, uh, if we close this dialog window, you can sort it out from the filtering options. So if you click on the select cabinet, since we have the factor in the artist and the user filters on, you're gonna see that we have all this showing up. If we want to reduce uh, the amount of cabinets and uh, the sorting information we want to, if we unselect the factor in the artist, then only the user ones are going to remain here. So this will make, uh, will make it easier for you to select which one you like. If we add artists, then the artist one shows up. If we select factory, now all of them show up. If you want to, you can just add to your favorites as well. So now this was added to our favorites. If we unselect the rest and we just click on favorites, then only the ones that we have favored will show up. Take in mind that uh, when you're using uh, selected impulse from our library, you have to select a mic as well because the mic itself is the one that is saved as a favorite. So now, despite the fact that I've selected the cabinet, I have to select a mic as well. And now it's properly loaded. Some people might have issues without having the available IR showing up from my library because their favorites tab is empty. So if I remove everything from the favorites, and uh, select only the favorites uh, filter, you're gonna see that we have nothing. So in case you have this issue, just unselect favorites and select each one of the other categories in order to have access to all the available IRs. Now let's check the presets. In order to get to the presets, you just click on the top left menu button and click on the presets. Now that we are in the preset menu, let's check the available options. Um, in the center, as you can see, we have the compression settings where you control the attack and release of the compressor. Next to it are the modes, which can be selected between active and passive, adding or removing a 10 dB pad. Uh, capsim placement, where you can select where you will place the capsim either before or after the blend of the clean and the driven signal. You can choose between the two different style bands of equalizer, between the dark glass bands and the generic one. Then on the left we have the nameplate, uh, which corresponds to the name of the preset, and underneath it uh, the selected impulse is also mentioned to that. At the bottom we have the six different presets. Uh, each letter corresponds to each preset, so now if I click on B for example, the second preset is loaded in the photon, C, and the third one, D, the fourth one, and goes on. And then in the center we have the diskette, which is actually the save icon. There, if you click it, you can change the name and uh, the name of the author of the preset and store it in your preset list. And next to it uh, is actually the preset called sharing. As you can see, now as I clicked it, uh, the preset copied to the clipboard. This is how you actually share presets with someone else and uh, we're gonna check this out a little bit later on in the video. And then we have the preset list tab, so when you click it, we can see all the available uh, presets. Uh, if you click on one of the presets, you see that all the information are shown here about the compression, the mode, the caption placement, the name of the preset, the author, and the date of creation. If you click on apply, then you can select in which one of the slots uh, this preset is going to be loaded. If we click on A, this is gonna be set to preset A. In order to quickly load uh, a preset to one of the slots, you just can click on apply and you select in which slot you want to load it. Now let's create a custom preset of our liking and save it. I'm gonna use the first preset and I'm going to make some adjustments so everything is going to change. I'm gonna use some random ones. Let's say these ones. Uh, in order to save it, you just keep pressed the switch that you want to save it. Now currently we are in audition mode, so if I keep the A pressed, 
is gonna be saved on A. Now if you click on A, you're gonna see that all the settings we have done are already saved in the application. So now if you want to save it, you just click on the diskette. Uh, let's rename that. I'm gonna name it to test4 for example, and author I'm gonna add CK and store it. Now this one is stored as test4 and we can actually load whichever one we want back again to preset A. So this is how you save a preset with a specific name and add it to the preset list. Now let's say that you want to load one of the presets in one of the slots that are not available uh, from the physical put switches which are actually D, E and F. One of the ways would be to head to the preset list and then click on apply and then select one of uh, the available preset slots to load it to this one. So let's say I click on D and then it's loaded on D. But in case you want to actually make changes on the fly and you want to save a specific preset to one of the non-available uh, full switch slots, there is an easier way to do that. I'm going to make some changes now, some random changes actually, in order to save another preset. Let's add some here, like that. And let's say that I have, I'm actually happy with uh, the settings that I've done. In order to save uh, this preset without naming directly to the pedal so you can have instant access to it, all you have to do is that you have to keep each of the, of the specific letter that you want to load it to pressed down. For example, now we were on D and I want to save it on F. All that I have to do is that I have to keep F pressed and then the audition is saved to the preset. The same thing applies to the mobile version. As you are in the preset menu, if you just keep press down on a specific letter, it's going to be saved on the fly to this specific preset slot. As you can see now, on F we have the settings that I made in order to show this to you. As you can see now, though we have no naming, but uh, this can actually be saved. We just click on the diskette, test 6. And now it's stored in our list. As we did with uh, the custom impulses, you can do the same thing with the presets. Again, as we are in the preset list, you can see that we have the cloud icon. If we click on that, you see that uh, the, each preset that is chosen is going to be synced to our cloud. Now, since all these presets are synchronized to our cloud, we can log in to another computer, for example, connect our device, sign in with uh, our personal account, and then we can fetch from the cloud the presets. So now, if I click on the cloud, you see that uh, the cloud presets are actually fetched. So this is how the cloud synchronization works. The same thing applies for the mobile. Uh, in order to make all the changes and have access to both from your computer and your mobile device, you have to upload them to your cloud and synchronize them so you can have access from both. So now let's check how we can actually share a preset. You head to the preset section and uh, this is the icon we talked about before. So if you click on it, you see that uh, the preset is copied to the clipboard. Now that we have uh, this copied, all you have to do is to paste it and the code will show up. I'm gonna make this a little quicker so you can actually show you how you can uh, import uh, a code. Since now it's already copied to the clipboard, if we go to the preset list, there is another uh, plus icon. That's how you add a preset. If we click on this, you see that we have import preset from code. This is what it was actually copied to the clipboard. If we click on paste preset code, you're gonna see that all this is showing up. This is actually the preset code that was created with the settings we have made. And so now if we click on import, we're gonna see again all the information of uh, this specific preset. And after we have access to all the information, you just click on save. And this is actually saved to our device. As you can see, this is the one uh, that was added last. It's not synchronized to the cloud as I had my previous one, but it was uh, due to the test in order to show you how you can actually import a preset. And now let's check the last section, which is actually the settings. Uh, 
please have in mind that uh, each pedal has different settings, but uh, this one are actually the same for both uh, the Adam and the Photon. So now as we are in the general settings, uh, you can see that we can change the name of the pedal. Uh, we can adjust the LED brightness. I currently have it on low. You can just between normal, high or lowest. Let's set it to normal now and have a medium reference. Then we have the routing options. Uh, this is actually what makes these pedals really versatile about it. Uh, we, can, we have different selections depending on the output. In the XLR we have normal and bypass. Normal in every output means that the whole signal path of the pedal is transmitted to the specific output. So, uh, for example, we have these specific settings. Everything that is set on the pedal at the moment is going to be passed to every output that is set as normal. In bypass, this means that the raw signal of our instrument is going to be passed through the specific output. In the balance left and balance right, we have five different options. We have normal bypass, we have capsin bypass. This is the one that we are actually using when we are connecting one of these outputs to our amplifier, which is connected with a cabinet. You don't want to have a cabinet simulation within a cabinet, so that's how you do it. Uh, distortion with uh, capsin bypass and uh, clean sound without distortion with uh, capsin bypass. And then direct monitoring, which is uh, utilized when we're using the either the Photon or the Adam as an audio interface connected via USB. Uh, when you set it on always on, uh, you're gonna have the signal passed uh, all the time through the unit, either you connect speakers to the balance output or headphones, while when you're using it in this way, if you, select, if you set it on off, you're not gonna be able to hear anything unless you're actually uh, enable the monitoring uh, function of a digital audio workstation, for example, when you're using it for recording a track or something. And then we have the MIDI mapping. Uh, this is where you actually set uh, the program chains and control chains commands in order to set specific commands uh, to your MIDI controller to select uh, which preset is going to be corresponding in which foot switch and also add additional uh, control chains commands to the potentiometers and the sliders. And then we have the firmware where you can, you can check for firmware updates in case there is one released. So this is how you actually use the Dark Glass Suite. I hope this video is going to help a lot of people who have questions and issues uh, considering how to properly use the software. And as always, uh, in case you need further assistance or information, do not hesitate to contact us. Take care.